Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 13th, 2022. Well, yesterday those bulls tried to convince us that inflation didn't matter, and then we had uh, Brainerd come out with comments suggesting that yes, they will aggressively fight inflation and aggressively raise rates and the market reversed and turned back around. So those bears kind of ended the day in control, but we had a nice surge at the end of the day. So what does that mean for the way we approach the market for today? Well, let's settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Unfortunately, what we saw yesterday was a little bit of uncomfortableness um, with a little bit of a uh, trap set by the bulls early on in the day saying, nah, inflation doesn't matter, we don't care. Um, we created another lower high followed by a lower low in the Dow. Now, it wasn't terrible. We kind of held on to this price support here in the chart, kind of hanging in there. We have a little bit, as you can see, a little in um, head and shoulders top um, pattern kind of showing here, but nothing major here in that chart. And this morning we have the bulls once again pushing like nothing matters here, just buy something and go up. It's really remarkable how we are choosing to ignore um, the internals of the market and the issues that we are struggling with here. Um, it's like everyone has just gotten tired of selling and all they want to do is buy despite some of the data coming out. So, well, we've got PPI coming around the corner. That's expected to be hot. We'll see if they can continue to um, convince everyone that this doesn't matter. Um, let's take a look here at um, support and resistance. Once again, we have that little bit of support right in here. As long as we hold there, we do have that chance that we could rally back up and test the downtrend, test some price resistance in the chart if those bulls can get going. If the bears regain control here um, intraday, then watch that potential that we push on down through that level. Um, obviously, closing yesterday, right around that 50-day moving average, just below, and we're trying to push back up. But notice we've got quite a little bit of technical resistance in the chart right there as well. Um, SPY, very similar situation. Closing back down, again, lower high followed by a lower low. And we're trying to pump it up this morning as if none of that matters. Back below that 50-day moving average um, and quite a little bit of resistance here in that chart. So if those bears were to gain some control, notice that we um, are resting right here on a little um, ledge of support. If that were to fail and those bulls come into you know, back into play, look for some levels down in here to maybe get tested. If those bulls can gain ground, then watch these price levels as we move back up to test downtrend, to to test some of these price levels in the chart. We've got some challenges ahead here for the bulls. They're gonna need something to inspire. And then if we take a look at the QQQ, um, again, similar situation, breaking support in the chart. So now we have this resistance level above here. We have our downtrend in play. We have additional resistance right through here in the chart. So bulls have some challenges here, again, below our 50-day moving average. Um, trying to gain some ground as bond rates continue, bond yields continue to rise. So we'll want to uh, watch that pretty closely. And then, of course, if those bears can engage, we'll want to watch this little support level here in the chart. Looking above here, as you can see, breaking down below the 50-day moving average, um, lots of technical resistance setting up in this chart right through this area. So watch that careful. And then let's take a look at our Russell. IWM um, shot up hard yesterday. Um, pretty remarkable the way it shot up and was just ignoring inflation. And then we popped our head right into that resistance, reversed on the day, and pushed back down. But we avoided a full-on bearish engulfing candle here in that um, 
that move. So as you can see, we're trying to bounce back up here again this morning. But I got to tell you, being below the 50-day moving average, um, I think there is. We're, we are testing the 500-day, but I think there really is a high probability. We test the lows here in the Russell. Um, so watch that closely. Notice that failure came right there at that 50-day moving average. And we do have quite a few of those technicals right in there. Um, along with the price resistance in the chart, creating quite a, quite a level for the uh, IWM to have to push through. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now, VIX was interesting yesterday. It did um, push up pretty substantially um, yesterday, but then um, in that last few moments of surge back up, we changed the picture on that quite a bit here in the VIX. So you want to keep an eye on that pretty closely. Um, remember, we have some resistance up here above around that 25, 26 handle in that chart, quite a bit of resistance. So if those bulls can re-engage, we might push back from that level here today. However, if those bears find reason to stay on, on task here, if we were to pop through there, that might be a little bit of a problem for us um, in the market. That's where some major fear can start to come in if that were to occur. So just keep a close eye on it. I can't tell you what's going to happen here. I just tell you we have a lot of uncertainty um, out there in those market internals to address. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 was also very interesting yesterday on that 330 point pop up in the Dow that we had yesterday. Our T2122 pushed up here almost all the way to um, that bearish reversal zone. But as those sellers came back in and the bears re-engaged, we pushed this back down on the day. And so we're down here below our mid-range here in the chart. And remember, T2122 doesn't tell us what direction we're going to go. It just tells us those pressure points in the market. So if the bears find a reason to engage today, then we have still considerable downside potential here in the chart. And if the bulls find reason to engage, we've opened up a pretty sizable upside in those charts. You're going to want to watch those resistance levels, however, in, um, in those index charts. If we take a look at our T2108, the number of stocks holding above the 40-day moving average slipped just a little bit yesterday, but it wasn't bad enough to really um, suggest you know panic at all anywhere in the market. And as you can see, holding some price support in here, and we do have some price support lower as well. Keep in mind, if we do rally, we've got these resistance levels and downtrend in that chart that we're going to have to defeat to really start turning things around. And a very similar situation um, in our T2107. If you notice here, pushing back down 33%, 34% of our stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. Got a little price support in there we're holding on to, but we've got these resistance levels above that we're gonna have to deal with now as well. So watch that carefully. Our T2101 continues to be a little bit problematic here, and I think the reason, that is the case is we just can't seem to gain any momentum um, in any direction. Now, this range between here and here in the Dow, one of the challenges that people are dealing with, this is more than a thousand points move in the Dow. So this, these ranges, uh, these point moves are pretty darn substantial and I know it's chopping a lot of people's accounts up. So if you're continuing to lose money in this wild volatility, I really do want to suggest that it may be wise to stand aside. And with us kicking off earnings season, we know we're going to get another dose of um, uh, volatility here in the market. So be kind of careful. Now let's take a look at that um, economic calendar here. Our economic calendar is an interesting one today because we do have PPI and PPI is expected to come in. Consensus is for a 1.1% increase. We had the same ex expectation of 1.1% increase in CPI, and it happened to come in at 1.2, just slightly higher. So let's watch that closely. If those producer prices continue to come in hot, and that just means everything that we buy continues to go up, 
um, in the markets. And if you noticed yesterday, commodity prices, food related prices, um, oil, all of those things continue to rise yesterday, um, suggesting that, hey, you can ignore it if you want, but it's here and it's not easing at the moment. So take a look. Um, we also have petroleum status here today. That could be interesting on those petroleum numbers. And we have another Fed speaker. And then at 1 p.m. today, we have a 30-year bond auction. And those bond rates continue to show us a little bit of problem. As a matter of fact, um, this morning, those bond rates are higher. If we take a look um, right now, the 30-year bond is at 2.82%. 10-year bond is at 2.72%. Both of them rose pretty dramatically overnight heading into this PPI report. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. Remember, high bond rates have a negative, um, the biggest negative effect on the tech sector. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now we're starting to um, enter that earnings um, season today, we, but we have kind of a, a slow start on that earnings season with just a, a few uh, notable here today, but they are big notables. First, let's take a look. JP Morgan has already reported this morning and they reported a big hit due to the Russian um, um, issues out there. And notice that JP Morgan pre-market looking lower and we're testing um, these lows here in JP Morgan. We continue to move in this downtrend. So not exactly bullish for the market. It makes you wonder why our futures are holding up so strongly um, as that um, plays out this way in the big banks. Uh, BLK, BLK um, are reporting today, so far uh, not much price activity in there. Maybe they haven't um, actually reported just yet, so watch that uh, closely. We're gonna hear from Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines bouncing up here. Nice little bullish report apparently here in Delta, trying to break through, so keep an eye on that as they try to rally from this place. Um, Fastenal, Fastenal reporting today. Um, pushing up nicely here, as you can see in that chart, giving us a nice little pop into some price resistance. Um, so watch that carefully. We have FRC um, reporting today. We have INFY reporting today. Uh, looks like they disappointed there. We've got rent reporting today and we have SJR reporting today. So if you want to get that list, um, just click the link below the title of the video. And remember guys, as earnings ramp up the numbers of these earnings, I won't be able to cover them all. So please make sure you know where that link is and you can go back to the blog to get the full list of notables. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that are setting up. But before we do that, guys, do me that quick favor if you could. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, Videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, please continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. You know, there's a lot of folks that watch the videos that don't comment and I do try very, very hard to answer all of those um, all of those comments. I, I do truly appreciate it. Um, it's that engagement that helps the channel grow. So thank you so much. I do truly appreciate it. And then let's take a look um, at the stock setting up and remember that these are not a um, recommendation to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you should do your own due diligence, be very, very careful on these trades because we're I'm expecting significant volatility. Remember guys, we have China going into lockdown. They're already suggesting it could be worse supply chain log logistics problems than 2020 and 2021 as a result. We also have the geopolitical Political situation over there intensifying um, um, in Russia and Ukraine again. So um, we've got all of these issues and uncertainty out there. So please be careful if you look at any of these charts that I share. It's not a recommendation to buy them. Make sure you understand the risk and make sure you are carefully um, analyzing um, how that fits your trading rules and your portfolio. So with that, let's take a look at a couple. We had some interesting moves yesterday where we continue to see food-related stocks moving up pretty sharply. 
Coca-Cola staying really strong, uh, PepsiCo staying really strong, trying to break through some resistance levels in the chart. So keep an eye on some of those. We have stocks like, you know, old boring stuff like Hershey moving up very, very strong um, in the market. Very, um, um, very boring type companies moving up sharply as those food prices continue to rise and we continue to ignore um, the complications that that's going to have on the consumer so watch that close you might also want to keep an eye on um, some of these energy prices they continue to surge to the upside uh, Devon Energy breaking out moving to the upside we have Halliburton looking very very good here in in these charts as those energy energy prices continue to push um, those upside moves and um, that's begin going to be well it just adds cost to everything we buy and do then let's take a look at gas prices um, UNG natural gas continues to be a very very strong sector of the market watch some of those natural gas plays um, they uh, continue to surge to the upside. Other places that I think are really good places to be looking is anything in the um, 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 precious metals area. Take a look at GLD. GLD on the rise here again, breaking through some resistance, pushing back up. Now, GLD has just proven to have tremendous manipulation um, in uh, the gold and silver markets, but we're we're gaining ground here remember russia is moving and china are moving toward gold standards in their currency so um, they've been buying up massive amounts you'll want to keep an eye on this um, gold and silver i think there may still be upside potential um, in these charts a nice surge there in silver yesterday as well and of course you can look at anything in um, in, in the mining sector uh, GDX um, looking good um, Newmont um, mining continuing to move higher uh, Barry Gold um, continuing to look pretty darn good here so lots of those mining charts um, showing quite a bit of strength you might want to take a look at um, anything in the utility sector take a look at energy transfer here big pop on the day um, utilities have been moving up strongly so keep an eye on some of those utility sector socks um, they are setting up and looking pretty darn good overall um, if you're you're looking for some short plays now this is going to be a little bit dangerous right now heading into earnings you might want to take a look at those financials we take a look at XLF this is not a bullish chart in any way shape or form um, we've rallied back up a couple of times leaving some bearishness here in those charts with JP Morgan showing some bearishness um, here this morning potentially BlackRock doing the same um, keep a close eye on these we've got big a lot of those big bank earnings tomorrow and I just can't imagine they're going to be all that great so watch that closely um, as we progress there may be some short trading in there and then of course um, if you um, like anything in the ag area take a look at um, stocks like CF continuing to rise really really strongly mosaic very strong uh, to the upside um, and and some of those ag related or sort of ag related stocks um, that have that consumer defensive element as well like Altria very very strong to the upside we've been seeing big moves in Philip Morris also keep in, in, um, in mind that we've had some really strong moves in that healthcare sector healthcare continues to remain very very strong so take a look at UNH uh, J&J is um, trying to hold some support here in the chart so there's quite a few out there to pay attention to so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here today I do appreciate it thank you for everyone supporting the channel and continue to continuing to support it through the buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video you guys are awesome take care have an awesome day we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning